What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, I wanted to share with you the snakes that I will have for sale this winter on Morph Market. So I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy the video. So we'll start off with this very high white hypopied so if you like your pieds really high white this is the girl for you a double visual recessive incredibly beautiful why am i not keeping her well i've got one with more stacked jeans in it that i'll be keeping now there's a possibility that there is huffman in this combination huffman tends to stripe the the pieds and we have some striping on the tail going on here there is a unique emoji going on it's a really cool snake again i keep her but i do have two pieds i'm keeping from this clutch so can't keep them all you know so hypopied female if you're interested in any of these snakes message me through instagram and I'm going to be working on my morph market in the coming days. It's not up yet, but they will be. So if you want to wait till they're up there, go for it. But if you want to jump in early before everybody else, hit me up on Instagram. Beautiful girl. I got some bangers here, so I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the snakes available. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So I got a 1.6 on a banana genetic stripe VPI Xanthic cross with a mystic clown. So these are all triple het. This is a female banana triple het for clown VPI Xanthic and genetic stripe. And again, I got 1.6 so I could afford to let go a couple of these banana girls, which I will. This is one of them that I'll be releasing. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether it's the, the triple hats making magic here, but look at how orange that top part is. Really amazing. These ones won't be cheap. Triple hats, females, and three extremely hot jeans together. It's going to be north of $1,000. So if you're interested, hit me up on Instagram before it gets to the general public on Morph Market. Here goes the half sibling to the banana triple head. This is a banana double het genetic stripe, VPI Xanthic. She's in blue right now. So she's not looking as stunning as she usually does, but female, my male was a female maker and she popped several times female. So if you wanna save a few, a couple hundred and not add clown to the mix, this is the girl for you. Again, banana. Double head, VPI is Anthic genetic stripe, female. Here we have a butter, double head hypo desert ghost, 66% possible head genetic stripe. So this right here could be a triple banger for a double banger price. I would jump on this girl if I were you. The only reason I'm letting her go is because I've got a couple of genetic stripe sisters and yeah, since those are guaranteed triple hits, this one will be let go. I should probably test these and before I put them on the market, but I figured I'd, I'd let them go right now. And if I ever do test them, the price will be significantly more than what I'm gonna list them currently. And she's got a little bit of back pattern going on. You know, genetic stripes have a tendency to, to show something on the back here. I've got two of these. And the other one's got a bad shed right now, so I'm not gonna show her. But once again, butter, double head, hypo, desert ghost. And you know what? Desert ghost is a simple recessive, guys. The data is backing that up. So don't be afraid to pick up some head desert ghosts. And this girl is 100% guaranteed to be head for desert ghost. Man, looking at her on the video here, I don't know if I wanna let her go, but 
you know, Cindy was in the mix. Is this a butter Cindy or just a butter? I'm just gonna list her as a butter, but there we go. There's two of these. Here goes another 100% Het Desert Ghost. This is an offspring of the beautiful Adonis. If you watch any of my videos, you know how incredible Adonis is. He's a pastel super enchi Desert Ghost Het Hypo. And this is the only baby I'm making available from him. Once again, pastel, enchi, 100% Het Desert Ghost, 50% possible Het Hypo. So what an absolute stunner. Get some incredible jeans in your collection with this girl right here. Here goes a pastel leopard, 100% het for clown and 50% possible het for desert ghost, female. I have a 1.1 pair of these along with a pastel phantom het for clown, 50% possible het desert ghost from this clutch. Beautiful snake. Might be worth the risk to add this girl and test for Desert Ghost and you got a double hit if it comes true. Beautiful. Here goes the male of that pair. This one might have phantom in it, I don't know. But I'm gonna list it as a pastel leopard and he's spicy. I'm gonna put him down. But pastel leopard, het for clown, and 50% possible het desert ghost. And this one might actually be a pastel phantom leopard. And just looking at him right now, I think it is because his pattern is just really crazy in comparison with the other one. This guy wants to eat me so. I'm gonna put him back. I need to double check to make sure that this is the male because I know one of these I'm keeping back, but I don't want to pop him right now because he's gonna tag me. I'll be putting these three up as a trio. They are siblings to the Ultramel Mojave Het for Cryptic or Clown, 50% possible Het Hypo that I produced this year. They're all girls. And you can see they're all spicy. Let's take a look at the normal first. Okay, so these are all potential triple head for cryptic slash clown, ultramel, and hypo. And look at the belly on this one. I read that, or I heard Austin say that head ultramels have crazy bellies, kind of like yellow bellies. And you know what? That one definitely has a crazy belly. Have this pastel that's simply stunning really crazy pattern on it beautiful and the mojave that wants to eat me now this is probably the prettiest mojave that i've ever produced straight mojave and you know maybe it's that hit hypo and hit ultramel influence going on but once again mojave Het for either cryptic or clown, 66% possible head ultramel, and 50% possible head hypo. So I think it would be really good to grab this trio and then hit up Charlie from Grey Rider Reptiles and get a hypo and ultramel test for those three. And who knows, all three might be triple bangers. How crazy would that be? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm kind of convincing myself to keep these three here, but I'll put them up. And if there's no interest, I'll get them tested and keep back those that are double and triple head here, which the odds are pretty good that at least one of them is. So let me know if you want these three for a really good price. Here goes another pair of siblings that I will have available. I won't have these sold as a pair, but separately they are Right here, we got a yellow belly that is het for either cryptic or clown and 50% possible het ultramel. Now these two came from my hidden gene woma yellow belly fire fader female 
and all the babies from that clutch came out with these really crazy patterns. I don't know if there's another gene going on in there, but they look very similar to hidden gene Woma patterns, but they don't have the color of hidden gene Woma. So kind of weird. Now this, I said that last one was the best Mojave I produced, single gene Mojave, but this one is crazy. This is a Mojave yellow belly, pet for either cryptic or clown, and 50% possible head ultramel. And her pattern is just extreme. See, I'm, I'm telling you, there's something going on with my hidden gene Woma girl. She's going into blue. She's a little faded right now, but this has got to be the best expression I've seen for a Mojave yellow belly. Incredibly stunning. These are siblings to the giveaway snake, snakes. And I'm actually going to do a, a short video updating you guys on them sometime this week. So I hope you stay tuned for that. So once again, right here, yellow belly pet for either cryptic or clown and 50% possible head ultramel and a Mojave yellow belly pet for either cryptic or clown and 50% possible head ultramel. There's some more snakes with less genes in them that I'm not including in this video, but I will put on my Morph Market. This YouTube video will be up before they're listed on Morph Market. So you guys will get first crack before they become available to the public. So reach out to me on Instagram if you're interested in any of these snakes. And yeah, I'm going for market. They'll be going for market prices on these snakes. So don't expect super cheap snakes, but yeah, typical market prices for these. And shipping out of California is a minimum $100. It's super expensive, so We'll, we'll try to work something out on shipping. My shipping is a flat $60, but if you buy several, of course, I could give you some free shipping. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, everybody. Take care and be safe.